Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how we can use the actual translator for the chat GPT. Of course, this is an amazing place to get some examples. And for this particular tutorial, we're using the Google Translate and of course the Spanish text. This one is going to be helping us a lot to actually like make a quick comparison between the three of them. It's see like if chat GPT is going to be helping us a lot or not. So first of all, guys, what I do can uh, strongly suggest to you is to go into the beta.openar.com fast uh, forward examples. And here, what you want to do is to locate the field, the custom example of the case that you want to look for. In our case, let's try to look for the translator. So you can go into search, I'm going to hit translator. Here is English to other languages. So I'm going to hit in here. And as you can see, here's the prompt. This is an example that we can be using. And here's the sample response. For example, translate this into French, Spanish, and Japanese. What rooms do you have available? And here are the answers. And as you can see, here's the API request as it appears like in the coding. And in the upper side, we do have the settings of what it was used to answer to these questions. If you don't know what this actually is, uh, you can open this into the playground. I'm going to hit it here. And as you can see, we now have the playground. This is like uh, something that can be helping us with a little bit more um, detailed way to control which kind of model you want to uh, receive the request. So with that being said, let's say for example that I want to have the same question. Uh, instead of choosing this model of the text of BNC003, you want to use something else. Now you might be wondering what you want to change from one model into another one. So the computer says that each model would generate the completion. Some models are suitable for more natural language tasks, other for specialized into codes. But take in mind that the if the OpenAI told you that they use the settings, that's probably because this engine is actually developed for the translation of different languages. So what I want to be doing here is to go into my, I'm going to go into, into a website that I just created here. I'm going to copy a text that I just created and I'm going to paste that into the chat GPT, into the playground, of course. And here, what I want to do, I'm going to go into the chat GPT and going to hit, for example, translate this into Italian like this. I'm going to hit into enter and now I'm going to do exactly the same thing but into the Google Translate. So I'm going to hit into English and I'm going to change from Spanish into Italian like that and I'm going to hit in here and I'm going to just delete this and I'm going to paste that and here as you can see we do have the actual answer. Now. Spanish text is something that can happen you to translate into from English into Spanish in a more natural, conventional um, way. So I use this a lot to translate from Spanish into English and backwards. So, but speaking about like using different tools, if using different languages, I think that this is going to be <laughs> not working a lot for us. So, just making a quick comparison here into the Italian killer whales, also known as orcas, are a species of thooded whale that are found in all the world's oceans. Le orche asesine continuense, uh, anche come in orche son una especie di vanella, den tanta se si trova in tutti gli oceani del mondo. Now, if I just want to focus into this specific test because I don't want to translate all of that because this is just an example, I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to see what is what ChatGPT do for us. Uh, y orque, noti anche come orchi, son una especie de delfini, uh, con identi que si trovano in tutti gli oceani del mondo. So, uh, speaking about the translation between Italian from Google and ChatGPT, of course, they do have the trovano in tutti. So, speaking about trovano in tutti, that means. Um, that they don't have the toted whale that they have tooted here. So I think it's a little bit more accurate ChatGPT than Google Translate. So I can do exactly the same thing, but now in the backspace. 
or in the back side and the other way. So I'm going to get into the from Italian into English with exactly using the same uh, translator like this. So killer whales, also known as ogres, uh, are a species of toothed dolphin found in all of the world's oceans. It's, I'm not pretty sure if this is a little bit weird. Now, killer whales, also known as orcas, are a species of toothed dolphins that are found in all of the world's oceans. So, as you can see, uh, orcas, I'm not pretty sure that this one means orcas into English. So, I believe that the Google Translator, it's like doing a really good job, but ChatGPT, of course, is doing like more casual, more realistic um, scenarios about which one is like the best answer for us. If I want to like do the exactly the same thing, but into Spanish, for example, I want to choose Spanish. And here you have Orca, so you can see as como Ogros. So, Ogres, of course, this is not something that it was uh, what we are looking for. So what I want to do here is to try to make the translation between those into Spanish and see what we can do here. So translate from English to Spanish. And here I want to do exactly the same thing from English to Spanish, but by using all the definitions from the other chat GPD. And here now we can use the Spanish text so you guys know how accurate is this tool and see which one fits for us the best. So here I have the Los Bellinas Cinas, también conocidas como orcas, una especie de delfines como dientes que se encuentran en todos los océanos del mundo. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to try to compare that in here. So las orcas, también conocidas como orcas, son una especie de delfines sentados que se encuentran en todos los océanos del mundo. So speaking about uh, orcs, uh, orcas, killer whales, as you can see, the Google Translate used both definitions into the same sentence. And now the Spanish text, as you can see, did the same thing. And ChatGPT did not. ChatGPT used ballenas asesinas, which that means killer whales into Spanish. And orcas, of course, that would be orcas. So uh, once again, ChatGPT just got me like blown up because I think I thought that actually Spanish Dict do could do something better but Spanish Dict as you can see did exactly the same thing into the Google Translator. I can of course uh, look for more translator but I need to unlock this by having an account signing into Google and if you want to have like a quick translation I believe that this is not going to be working for us. So so far, I think ChatGPT is doing a really, really great job. So guys, now you know which one has a really great uh, tool for making translations between one, um, one language into another one and even more than one. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great tools about this awesome ChatGPT. There's so much more stuff to uh, to figure it out which one how does it works so you want to go into this url and figure it out about yourself so thank you once again for watching the video guys and i'll see you on the next video